dearest, gentle reader. Did you miss me? So, hi there. In this video, I will be answering some of the personal questions most of my friends have sent to me last March 1, 2022. And the subject is all about what question would you like to ask for a nine-year relationship? Aww. Yeah, because today we are celebrating our ninth year as a couple and I'm always thankful for having him in my life. Before I start, I just want to have a message to him. I wish you all the best. Take care of yourself in there. Uh, drink a lot of water, stay hydrated. Always remember that I am so proud of you. We are so proud of you. Most of all, always remember that I will always keep on choosing you and choosing us. Now let's get started with these very personal questions. And this will be the very first time that I will be very vocal on our relationship because I want to inspire people and I want to let them know that LDR works and long-term relationship also works. So I arrange, actually there are nine questions being sent to me and it's such like coincidence that we are now celebrating our nine years. I arrange them according to the weight of the question or how difficult to answer it is yeah well let's start uh disclaimer i will answer the question impromptu because this is my only spare time from everything from academics from our small business that we have from everything the views and opinion of me does not reflect anything char i just want to share to you how nice and wonderful it is to having someone in your life let's get started first question would be from real brain and his question was what is the reason behind those years he's asking me what is the reason actually there are many reasons behind this nine-year relationship why we are still with each other and the very first reason of that is of course love and second, the choice in always choosing me, in always choosing him, in always choosing us. That no matter how hard it is, no matter what happens, he always chooses us. Aww. And I always choose us. Aww. And lastly, um, we are on the same page. There are several times that we argue, but we make sure that we are always on the same page because that's what relationship is all about you have to understand one another you have to understand him and also he should understand me as well and i think most of all the biggest reason is the commitment i am really committed to him and he is really committed to me so i think that's the most important um, that's the most important reason why our relationship will last longer and that's the most important reason why the relationship is still there because it's all about commitment it's all about commitment so if you are not ready to commit anything don't enter in a relationship maybe if you are seeking for a serious relationship you should have that commitment from the very start until the very end. Second question will be from Jan Riley. So the question is, am I being tempted or in Visaya? So the answer for this one is no and never. Wow. Yes, there are many instances that there are people who really confess their feelings toward me, but wow. then like not feelings just admiration I think towards me and wow. then I will just simply block them saying that I already being committed Aww. into a relationship and I cannot imagine not staying up to death so yeah I have never been tempted 
ever been tempted because you know I always pray that both of us can avoid temptation. The next question would be from Shelly. The question was, how would you two compromise after having a tough argument knowing the fact that it'll be armed? So the question means that how should we compromise after having a tough argument knowing the fact that we are in a long distance relationship? The most simple and sincere answer would be constant communication. So if you have problems, you just have to communicate with him. You just have to communicate with him. Talk to him. Be honest with him about your feelings, about what you feel, about how you feel about it. You should be honest and also listen to what he says. Both of you should listen to each other because it should not be a one-sided story because you are in a relationship and in a relationship it's composed of two people you have to listen to his side and he should listen to your side in that manner i think there will be no conflicts that will be left unresolved everything will just go back to normal because you have communicated to each other properly yes you should even though you are hurting because it's better to talk about what you feel than to keep them at all because nothing resolves in keeping all that by yourself yeah. so now let's move on to the fourth question from mem louise and her question was how well do you understand each other so in rating scale of 10 i will be rating that i understand him 9 over 10 wow. and also he understands me 9 over 10 i say 9 over 10 because there is still a room for exploration um you you cannot really know truly i have known a lot about him he had known about a lot about me that only him also know but i think i don't really totally know him because you know people change and and, and every experiences he he might change i might change because of the experience that i have the struggles the difficulties the people around me that's why i give nine over ten because you cannot truly know a person for years but you have to know him for a lifetime you have to live with him for a lifetime you have to be with him for a lifetime in order for you to fully uh, know that person but when it comes to understand the person uh, how well they understand each other well very much he knows what i like and what i dislike what i hate and what i love and likewise to me i know what he hates what he loves what he likes so i guess that's one thing that keeps the relationship much stronger knowing each other because in that way you will be able to understand each other you'll be you'll avoid conflicts you avoid conflicts of interests and of course living in a healthy relationship not a toxic one then the fifth question would be from alex so what have we eaten why we last longer actually nothing nothing i wow. can't even believe that in our ninth year just let things happen and i always follow my heart it's just god he always made unexpected things miracles and i think that's what keeps us going because he is the center of our relationship uh, number six from boss harvey his question was do you want to get married someday of course i really want to get married someday if that is my vocation if god allows and yes it's the dream of every woman in the world it's very sad to be alone but it's okay to be alone sometimes but i can't imagine my life living alone for a lifetime i really dream and hope that someday i'll get married too because life is much wonderful and meaningful if you have someone to share for then next would be from 
RV. So it's not a question, but she says that pagminyo na mo. Well, well, well. <laughs> it's very far from there because there are still many responsibilities to do. We still have to pay back from our families, and the only God knows the perfect time for that. Just what I said that there are still many responsibilities, there are still many dreams to conquer, and there are still many plans for each each one of us for our own families before settling down. Just to clarify, we still have to make sure everything was set before that time comes. Number eight, uh, I think we are already in the hardest questions. There are two left and I found these two questions very very hard to answer. So the first hard personal question was from, from Ezra and her question was what is your biggest regret during this nine year relationship? I really I really think about this question last night because I, I reviewed the questions and then I realized first I realized that I really don't have any regrets because me as a person I don't want to live a life full of regrets as possible. But then I realized that there is one. In our nine year relationship I guess I regret that I am not so very vocal to him because there is one time that he asked what are the reasons that I like him and I just simply answered him that there are many reasons that I like you but I cannot specify and I just told him everything about you but he said that there should be a reason I think that's one of the regrets that I should be more so vocal because up until now he's still questioning me why so my answer for that question is because of your beautiful soul, you being so family oriented and you respect me a lot. And also, he is very intelligent, very hardworking, still very charming. Aww. In my opinion, because he says that he is not charming in others' perspective, but in my perspective, he is. Aww. I hope I clearly specified all the reasons. There are so many reasons why him. Aww. So down to our very last question, the hardest one I think, and the most essential one. So this question was from Auntie Nikki. So before I will read this, her question, I would like to thank her for being with me today. Ms. Ryan is not with me because just what I've said, we are in a long distance relationship. So she was with me today and we celebrated this memorable and meaningful milestone in our relationship thank you so much for the last question is the span of years an assurance of his loyalty and commitment in the relationship why or why not um, the span of years is not an assurance it's not really an assurance of his loyalty and commitment in the relationship because it should not be the span of years it should be his overall character and most of all it should be his choice the choice in always choosing you the choice in always choosing the both of you because you I agree that there are just um, in the span of three months or five months they are already married. Yes, you cannot say that it's not the span of years. You cannot really say that the span of years in, is an assurance because I've heard so many stories about the long, long-term relationships that didn't work. I really guess that it's not the span of years, but but your everyday choice of choosing to love that person staying with that person every time you wake up if Aww. you can't imagine life without him or you can't imagine life without her and i guess that's already an assurance that he is committed that you are committed and will be loyal to to him that's my opinion thank you for 
reaching up until this moment for listening to the answers given for reaching this so far. Thank you so much for all the questions from my dearest friends. I really appreciate all those questions. I really appreciate you all guys and I hope that everyone will be staying safe, staying healthy, mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally. God bless us all. I'll be right back to my very busy life. Bye.